You love to see it. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of good news we need in the gaming industry to set 2020 on a better course. You know how long we've been wanting and hoping for Wonderful 101 on Switch? It's been since the system started, since they ported over so many Wii U games, since it seems like Kamiya and Ko are always teasing it, apparently they never were, or maybe they were in trying to get Nintendo to bite, well Nintendo didn't bite, but Nintendo did allow them to put this thing on Kickstarter, and the wonderful 101 Remastered entered the Kickstarter fray this morning, and already crushed it, absolutely crushed it my friends, this is so good, and to me the best news Goodness gracious, the number just keeps going. They asked for $50,000, and you can see it's just, it is, holy crap. Anyhow, what's going on at Zagman Switch Force? Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should back this for a digital code or for a physical copy. We'll get to the prices in a second, but that's what I need your help from. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do I get the digital or do I get the physical of this magical adventure? This is a high-profile game coming to Switch via Kickstarter, and the dollars are insane. It's shocking to me that Nintendo didn't want to be the ones in charge of this, because look how much love there is. 309, 310, they're crushing it. The game is coming to PS4 as well. Uh, we scroll, scroll down, they've got stretch goals here. So Steam is, oh well, no, I guess it's not coming to PS4 yet. It's coming to Steam. PS4 will be pretty much inevitable. But the best news here, the best part, if I can contain my excitement, is look when it's coming, baby. April 2020. This game is coming out in two freaking months. So the Direct, who knows when it is. Nintendo's 2020 calendar, who knows what's in store. But we're getting a really cool remaster in April. I'm really impressed. This shows that the game is basically done and they're just using a little bit of extra funding to get them over the hump to prove interest and then to fund their other ports uh, to fund, you know, their 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 PS4, their Steam because it looks like more money is needed for that. But I got to decide if I want the digital. It's 36 bucks US and it is 41 for the physical. So it seems like I should get physical, right? For $5 more it seems like I should get physical. And what I love about this is they're not asking the full 60. How many times do these Wii U games get ported and they go for the same price as they initially launched or more in the case of Tropical Freeze, which I love, baby. I love Tropical Freeze, but they did us a little, a, a wee bit dirty. It's Nintendo, so I understand, but $41 for the physical version is awesome. So apparently the physical version is going to be available um, in doors as well it just says that the backer version will have a special backers only kickstarter exclusive cover and will receive dlc unlocked via stretch goals for free so obviously backing this is the better way to go than buying it in a store i mean it just makes sense for where your money's going um and you're gonna get that dlc so our dude here they've got this like social media campaign set up for this like it's not really an ARG, but sort of a social media game. You can get all these other rewards. Um, I think the box art looks sick. I've been I, I wanted to replay one on one on Switch for a while, so I'm really happy about this. There's all these other packages as well: keychain, sticker set, identification card, pendant, T-shirts, posters, comics, um, art books, soundtracks, all sorts of things. Figures, freaking Joy-Con. They're not official, but I kind of like them. Um, a mask, a jacket, a, a big pinboard poster, um, and you can see then everything you get, and they go through some details on the game. I am floored. Uh, well, I am and I am not. $320,000, 4,700 backers. Like, I, on one hand, that is, like, incredible that they can clear the goal so fast. On the other hand, it's like, man, 4,000 copies of a game ain't really doing a whole lot. So time will tell in the next 31 days if... Platinum betting on themselves, you know, if they if they were right or if Nintendo kind of not wanting to handle this one uh, internally makes sense since there wasn't a ton of interest. But either way, we're getting it. it. It's been something that fans have requested and it's coming so soon. This is another game to add to the calendar. So you got Animal Crossing New Horizons in March. You got the Mystery Dungeon double pack in March. And then you're going to have Wonderful 101 in April. And even though it's not an official Nintendo release, it sort of feels like it because it does come from a Nintendo published experience on Wii U. And that also means that since they're doing it separately, it doesn't really count as part of Nintendo's calendar, so we get an extra game. If Nintendo had done this one, then maybe they wouldn't have done something else, so I love it. I think it's a perfect storm. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The number keeps I mean, dude, if you want it on PS4, one, you're crazy. You gotta get this on Switch. But if you want it on PS4, it's gonna happen later today, I'm sure. People aren't even off work yet, and we're already at $325,000 and counting of 50. It's got to make them feel good. Good on you, Kamiya. Uh, Platinum has a website that's teasing more projects, so who knows what those will be, but right now, I need you to help me out. Digital for 36, 
physical for 41. What do I grab? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you're pumped for 101 on Switch. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. This is a great Feel Good Monday story. Hope you guys are enjoying the start of your week as well. Until next time, be good to yourself and others out there. Switch Force, out.